Bum, 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 bum. Hello, this is take three. Take one and two were rubbish. So hopefully this is better. So this video is for me and it's how to do normal mapping inside of Studio Max. So we're doing it. This is the most simplest, stupidest way of doing it. So there you go. So first thing you've got to do is in your render setup on your common tab, when you assign a renderer, you need to assign a scanline renderer. So do not do not select Mosquito, NVIDIA iRay, NVIDIA Mentor Ray. Actually, you know what? Both of those are going to go inside of 2018. So if you're looking in the future, going like, oh, I ain't got that listed. That's because Autodesk removed them. Uh, Octane Demo, you won't have that unless you're clever. Um, so anyway, yeah, you need to choose Scanline for doing baking. So what we have here is a very simple test object, which is a plane and then some geometry with turbo smooth on the top of it to give me something to try, basically. And then uh, let's get rid of that. What I've got underneath that is hit the W key. I've actually got a plane we're going to go and bake to. Okay, and we put it in the same position as the original geometry. Bada bing, bada bing, bada boom. So it's unwrapped. If we go into the unwrap editor, open the UV editor, which is an awesomeness. I love the UV editor. It's fantastic. <sighs> okay, it's not that good. Uh, I hate the UV editor, <laughs> if I should want to tell the truth. But maybe I'll get past it. I hate UV editing. End. Um, so yeah, unwrap it. And uh, there's my whole polygon here. Look. There you go. Maybe I should actually make it the proper shape. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really good at this. So, yeah, that's cool. So, we got that. And then after that, you add a projection. You add a projection uh, modifier. And when you go and select cage, you can then move. You can select the points and move the cage. So, what we're doing here is the original uh, single polygon plane is at the bottom. And I've moved the cage. So it is just above the actual geometry. If we go in the left hand view, you might be able to see. There we go. It's literally just above it. So it's going to look all from here down to the base, basically. There you go. Uh, blop. So that sort of does that. Bada bing, bada bing, bada bong. We actually don't need that. We can kill that. Bing. That kills that. So there's our projection ready to go. We then need to go to render to texture, which is under rendering render to texture which will then give you this oh my god so this looks like fun doesn't it so you need to uh, enable it yeah, we're doing projection which is obvious you're going to go and uh, add a thing which we're going to go and add is a normals map so we've added a normals map blah 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 and you decide god could this be any taller uh, how big your map's going to be? You could do automatic. I've done five, twelve by five, twelve, and then you say where you're going to go and store it. And I'll say it's in. Oh, that's a swear word. Hang on. Uh, fluffy, <coughs> normal map, and it's where it's going to be. And then you bake it. Is that it? Oh, sorry. Hang on. Let me stop for a minute. Before you go and bake it, hello, in your projection thing here, you go and select um, the items you want to go and project, basically. Sorry. There you go. Then you can go and hit project. So, uh, yeah, that's cool. And it's a normal map. It's called fluffy normal map PNG. And uh, we'll go and hit render. Boing. And we will go and overwrite the file. Uh, why is it doing that? Hang on. There we go. Whatever. It's gone and rendered it, basically. There you go. So this gives you a render, which may or may not be what you want to look at. Actually, you know what? It's not what you want to look at. So what we need to go and look at is the normal map. So you'll find the normal map. Hello. So I'm looking off screen here. View image. There we go. So that's my normal map. Yeah, look, I should have sorted that out, but I didn't because I'm stupid. So that does that, and then you go into your material editor, and basically it drops into bloop bloop, uh, goes into the bump. It'd be good if we used it, wouldn't it? So it goes into bump, normal map, 
and then we go and add the normal map which is boing which is here and we've called it um fluffy <coughs> uh which is there and uh yeah that's all good so that's cool and then what we then get automatically flattened uvs gets put on top of it and then we can um go to this and move it and go yep yeah. and we can even convert to editable ollie and now top view there we go we get to have uh let's move the uh this guy so we now get that working basically we take that off so that's the original geometry and actually you know what we've got a copy there let's move that there we go we'll get rid of the grid so that's how you do it basically um really basically that's it so that will do uh yeah that's it as they say so i to have more chocolate but wanted to do the video so i don't know what the heck i'm talking about when i go and look at it again um yeah that's it then so i'm a bit over the place but there you go it'll have to do ah uh, you didn't pay for it and it's not for you anyway it's for me so shut up right see ya bye uh,